So, the big three. Photoshop, Illustrator and InDesign. A question that every designer will ask themselves at some point is, which one is the best? And when should I use Adobe InDesign instead of Illustrator or Photoshop? Now, while all three programs are amazing in their own right, they serve very different purposes. It's fair to say that apps like Photoshop and Illustrator are gateway apps for beginners in the graphic design industry. These apps are simple and easier to pick up initially, however, do lack a lot of the advanced features that InDesign offers to manage content and produce professional publications. Reflecting back on my design career, it did take me a few years to get into InDesign, and there was a steep learning curve but InDesign is now probably one of my most used and favorite apps. InDesign is extremely powerful for graphic designers who want to go pro. So in this video, I'm going to break down why and when you should choose InDesign and how it can make your design life easier. So let's get into it. So first, let's talk about what InDesign is actually built for. Well, Adobe InDesign is the industry standard for layout design and publishing. It's perfect for working with multi-page documents like magazines, brochures, books, reports, and even digital publications like eBooks and interactive PDFs. So if your project involves multiple pages, lots of text, and a need for structural layouts, InDesign is your go-to. Think of InDesign as your best friend for long-form content and precise layout control. Now let's compare InDesign to Photoshop. So Photoshop is amazing for editing and manipulating images. If you need to tweak photos, create complex image composites, or apply pixel-based effects, Photoshop is your tool. But here's the catch. Photoshop is not great for handling large amounts of text or creating multi-page layouts. Trying to create a multi-page brochure in Photoshop can get messy really quickly. Plus, Photoshop works in raster format, which can result in lower quality output for print designs if you're not careful with resolution. InDesign, on the other hand, is built for handling large amounts of text and multi-page layouts with ease. You can format text, create columns, use grids, and easily adjust styles across an entire document. It also integrates seamlessly with Photoshop, so you can use those beautiful images you've edited inside your InDesign layouts without sacrificing quality. Plus, InDesign can export PDFs that will vectorize text and other elements that will keep text and graphics sharp and a file size down. Now, I have seen a lot of designers creating things like poster designs in Photoshop. Some simple compositions like this with not a lot of text can be done, though this is probably as far as you really want to take it in Photoshop. Remember, Photoshop doesn't really work as well when creating grids and managing and formatting text. So let's talk about Illustrator. Now, Illustrator is fantastic for creating vector graphics like logos, icons, and illustrations. If you need to create detailed illustrations, patterns, or scalable graphics, Illustrator is your tool. But here's the thing. Illustrator isn't designed to handle long documents or a lot of text. While you can technically create brochures, posters, and business cards in Illustrator, managing text across multiple pages applying consistent styles or flowing text across linked frames becomes much more complicated than in InDesign. InDesign is built specifically for those types of projects with features like parent pages, text flow, and paragraph styles that make handling multi-page documents a breeze. So if you're designing a logo or a simple document like a business card or a poster, Illustrator can be a suitable choice. But if you need to design a 20-page magazine a corporate brochure, or even a social media carousel with lots of text, pages, images, and styles, you'll save yourself a ton of time and headache by using InDesign. So then, when should you use InDesign? Well, some of the key features that make InDesign really stand out include parent pages, text flow and threading, multi-page handling, pre-flight and packaging, and interactive features to name a few. These are features that just don't exist in Photoshop or Illustrator and can save you a lot of time and improve your design process. As mentioned earlier, simple apps like Photoshop and Illustrator are the gateway apps for graphic designers and will typically be the first apps they will engage in when they start their career and begin to practice their craft. Using Photoshop and Illustrator to create simple documents like business cards, posters, and flyers is doable. But if you want to create multi-page documents, 
develop text-heavy projects, prepare streamlined print-ready files, use advanced exporting options, and add interactive elements, you're really going to want to use InDesign. So InDesign is a powerhouse when it comes to layout design and publishing. It saves you time and gives you the flexibility to manage large projects efficiently. While Illustrator and Photoshop are awesome for their specific purposes, InDesign is where you need to be for anything layout related. Now the key thing to remember here is it's not about replacing Illustrator or Photoshop. It's about knowing when to use the right tool for the right job. Now personally, I use all three of these apps together to create my design work. InDesign, Illustrator and Photoshop each have their strengths, but when used together, this is where the magic really happens. So now we are all clued up on the potential InDesign has to offer. It's now time to move on to the next subject. So I'll see you in the next video.